Every century or so, we add a little layer to the soil and things get buried. One very wet day, just like today, five years ago, detectorists David Moss and Tom Taylor were just about to give up searching when, with a beep a bit like a supermarket checkout, there we are, they discovered something that had been hidden maybe 1,600 years ago. I was absolutely soaking. I sort of took a, a line towards Tom, and I wasn't even metal detecting at this point. I was just walking towards him, holding my metal detector next to me. Feeling miserable and wet. And all of a sudden, I just clicked this target, and it made a noise. And that noise was a hoard of over 2,000 Roman coins, kept safe away from time in a very muddy pot, not far from the River Conway. So it was declared as treasure uh, wow. this week. Um, it's fascinating. How cool is that? I mean, how, how long have you been detectoring? Uh, so when I, believe it or not, when I actually found that hoard, it was the first farm we actually went to, <laughs> um, which is quite unbelievable. What do you do for an encore? Now the Romans might have given us concrete, straight roads and a reasonably funny Monty Python film, but it's quite hard to find evidence of the lives that were here 2,000 years ago. But in the suburbs of Prostatin, there's a bathhouse. You'll have to build it up in your imagination. Ave, Caesar. Question is, quae secreta subterra yacenta? Or, to put it in English, what mysteries lie hidden beneath the earth? I knew those Latin lessons at school would come in handy sometime. As did the fire at the Black Lion in Fanvar TH today, although detectorists like David and his fiancée Maria don't seem to feel rain as much. And even when he's just doing stuff for our cameras today, he still finds things. You can't keep a good detectorist down. Wow. Right then, Sir David, all those bleeps. What was all that about? What have you found? Yeah, so we've just had a musket ball. It's hundreds of years old. And it's a pretty cool find. The coins Tom and David found will hopefully soon be displayed at a museum near you, but as for who hid that Roman fortune... Will we ever truly know, but the story's just fascinating. Who buried their hoards and then left it for 1,600 years? Yeah. It's one of the best detective stories in Wales, that one. Rob Shelley, ITV News, in Conway.